HyperX have been making some really good improvements to their mice, catering more and more to the competitive FPS crowd. And this is their best yet. As always, no mouse is perfect, but it's definitely up there. It's lightweight at about 59 grams. The expected weight ratio is 0.79 to 1. So the weight is really good for a mouse this size. If you need an explanation of the expected weight ratio, I'll leave a link in the description. The cable is really soft and flexible, and the shape is good and safe. Because mice are so good these days, the shape is what you need to know about before you buy. So there are some nice subtle curves in the buttons. There is a gap between them and the shell, but it feels okay. And the holes are noticeable, but also okay. It's a symmetrical design with buttons on the left only, and there are no holes on the sides, which are well shaped except they flare out a little at the base. In a way this is good for stability, in another way it doesn't actually give as much grip. I guess the designer of this mouse was trying to find a balance between the two. They did pretty well. And the hump is in the middle, so not great for palm grip or claw palm, but it still can be used in palm grip. Here's a look at the base, 4 PTFE feet, and some more holes. Speaking of feet, they include some extras, and some grip tape if you're into that. Now for dimensions, it's about 6.06cm at the fingers, 122 long, and 375 high. I'd recommend it for hands that are about 20 by 10 centimeters. The hump is a little too far forward for palm, but maybe under 17.5 centimeters if you really want to. Otherwise, 20 by 10 for fingertip and claw grip. Here it is next to some other mice, so you have a general idea of the size, and it has golden micro switches rated for 60 million clicks. Here's a listen to them. No issues here really, just preference. It's not an expensive mouse, so I guess we can forgive some issues like this on the wheel. We can see the black part getting bigger and smaller as you rotate it. On this copy, it's not directly centered. It still works, but I've seen this a few times before. It can be an issue, but on the other copy they sent me, it's okay. So just one defective copy. As always, some mice will be good, some will be bad. Hopefully the quality control is there for later. And the side buttons feel pretty good too. And that's what the buttons are, pretty good. But could be improved, but then everything can in some way, so they're good. I played some League of Legends with it, and the buttons feel really good for MOBAs. Lots of clicking shouldn't be a problem. Now to the 3335 optical sensor, which put through the usual testing seems to perform quite well. I couldn't get it to spin out with fast flicks, and even in the tilt slam test, it handled it just fine. It tracks pixel by pixel, smooth movement, and it didn't seem to have issues with acceleration or deceleration. The liftoff distance is under a DVD, and in the line test, all seems fine. So for those wondering, yes, the 3335 is good in game. I didn't have an issue. As for the overall build quality, it feels really well built. However, although this never happened in game, it's a tiny concern. When I press the mouse like this, notice the light changes? That's the DPI changing. I'm not actually hitting the button though. So pressing the shell down like this is activating the button. The good news is I can't make it happen with my palm, just my fingers or thumb. So I think it's fine, just one of those things that might happen on light mice. A quick look in the software, nice and simple. Can easily change the gradient on the lighting, or use a couple of others. And you can change what the top button does too. Multimedia and some other commands. 200 to 16,000 DPI in steps of 50. Nice, clean, simple, pretty good software. Everything is pretty much right on this. It's a top tier mouse, it just depends if the shape and features are going to suit you. Be sure to check my website to see where it ranks in the top mice list. And I hope that helps. Thanks to HyperX for sending it out for review. All thoughts are my own of course. Usual link in the description if you want to help support what I do. Subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.